Mm, hello. Welcome back. Last time we uh, had a bunch of fogmen basically continually raid our base uh, from the back gate here. So temporarily, I've put a wall right here, and I I had to make sure that it did hit the ground because you can easily set that up to where people could just walk underneath it. So um, yeah, we did that for right now. It seems I'm not sure what controls this, but uh. When things come to here, they come around to at here, like as if it's the front door. Um, I was testing some things with, um, I'm doing a mod video on the side. And uh, I was actually having tests like adventure stuff and new recruits coming in. And they never wanted to hit this gate. They walked right by it. And then, uh, so I, I just blocked that off for now because I'm not sure what the deal with that is. So we'll see. But... For now, we're going to continue to invest into growing crops, uh, getting research down. Uh, I'm building two rain collectors right now on the roof. I'm not sure how these operate. I don't remember how they work. Uh, I don't even remember if that's a mod or not. But, um, but yeah, so, so far right now, we're kind of self-sufficient. We got... Um, the I haven't quite figured out how to get these guys to um, bring food out to the dogs. Um, but maybe it does calling the dog bow. Well, hopefully it doesn't do that all the time. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not gonna. We're gonna have to figure that one out. I did kind of want to stockpile, but we'll for now just get this working as is. It's gonna be a bit slow, I believe. Uh, we still got Beep and Hobbs over here, just manual laboring up for building materials. So it's getting to the point where we're gonna have to start looking for ancient science books and stuff. Uh, I don't think you can buy those, or at least you can only buy them at limited locations if you can. I can't recall, it's been a minute. Um, but so far the operation's doing quite well here. I'm happy to see... So these only work if there's actually rain, I'm willing to bet. Not raining. Yeah, um... I'll just have them up there regardless. I don't think it rains here in the Foglands, does it? So what I'm thinking of doing, I put a lot of thought into this. Uh, I know we're set up here in the Foglands, and we're literally on the frontier of our enemy, which is uh, the Holy Nation. Um, I do want to set up somewhere on this side of the map. And... Somewhere that's not too terribly hard to live in. We do need to probably visit the Deadlands. Um, there's a... The uh, skeleton like outpost there that sells like really good limbs and whatnot. I might visit the Grey Desert. I think there's stuff there. Actually, it might set up in the Grey Desert now I'm thinking about it. Uh, we'll see. We'll have to send some forward teams to do that. The other thing is, is getting more people to work here. Uh, this would mean getting the Adventurers Guild to come here. And I don't know where they set up at. I do know that you can go to the hub. And there's always a guy there at the hub. So I might send somebody down running that way. And uh, go talk to him. It appears Ein is stuck. We might remove that dog bowl. Okay, so let's stage here. Um, 27, 
We don't really have nothing we can sell. I also want to figure out how I want my forward squad. I think I think I'm gonna keep Pia. Um I found out that she lets you know every time paladins are near and I don't happen to see them. Um Oh, I speaking of not seeing things. Uh, one thing, if anybody here probably has played the game, knows what I'm talking about, where it feels like you wish you can see further out when things are coming. I actually found a mod that actually lets you do that, where you could see from pretty far away. Like, I could see people out here. I'm trying to see if I got an example. Like, uh... Yeah, I don't think you'd be able to see that normally from here. I mean, like, other things are popping in, which that's that's what we have to work with. But as far as people go, movement, um, I think you can see stuff way further out. I don't see nothing right now. All right, let's take a look at these. You're all right on running alone. Got to keep her light. This one's a good all-arounder. That's a combat, and that's a good all-arounder combat. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Um, keep her as medic. Yeah, she's a decent field medic. Uh, yes. Yeah, so you have a big backpack. I think I'm gonna have you give that to knife. Um, okay. All right, we got beep. Always had to have beep. 23 miles an hour, yeah. We're solo. All right, we're going to load knife up with a few medical supplies because, well, we're not crafting them yet. Making pants, though, won't get much for them. It's just more like just stuff around the outpost. Um, solo, give knife your those and one of these. That way they can actually... Oh, no, it's Digna. Um... Okay, Digna does have something. Oh, I'm still going to give Digna that. I think we're good. So, Doggo has become quite overpowered. Um, and I'm really debating if I should leave one of them here. Uh, hell, even if I take... His attack is 45. What does the armor do again? Plus 10 on combat skill. Hmm. Um, Dago has been the main one. Mine has been pretty awesome as well. So our slowest link is 20, you know, 17 miles an hour. That's knife. Uh, 
20. I'll keep the uh, backpack off of him. Question is, do I want to leave Ein here? Problem is, is nobody here can really defend themselves. If we do get attacked through a gate, Ein is probably our best line of defense for Fogman. So I think... I think I'm going to set Ein temporarily on get off my lawn team. Also, Digna, go ahead and grab all that. That'll be for Doggo. Right, what are you doing? You're filling those up. Doing quite all right. We could probably make cactus uh, rum at some point in time too. We're getting a lot of cactus. Here, we'll do this. Uh, storage. Where is it? I'm not going insane, am I? Let's go. Cactus, yeah. There we go. Damn, I can't put that near there. What's going on there? Fine, we'll just do that. Okay, get those built. And, okay, I think uh, forward squad is good to go. We will set them to run at each other's pace, which is, I think, 22 or 20. I think what we're going to do is we're going to skirt down here, hit the hub, see if we can hire some adventurers and um, uh, go from there. Boy, we're barely hanging on the water well. We need to research uh, upgraded water well because there's no water around here. I tried to do... Um... Where's it at? There's the wind pump, but it also is based off of water. And actually, you can't really get any good water down here. You still need to do basically the uh, the well. It seems to be the best bet. You know, it'd be amazing if we can get a guy up in here. Uh, let's see. Can we indeed... Guess we're gonna have to live with this. We'll do that. I wanna see if uh where are you going? Can you actually go down there? Okay, you can. Dismantle that. How far can you go down? That's it? Okay. We really need another well, so this is probably going to be our best bet here. So I'll leave that to Crumble John to build. 
Make sure none of these guys have jobs. Except for the medic. Okay, and we're going to tell them to just... I think we want to go this way and then down. Oh, you guys are going that way. Is huge. I had somebody on uh, one of my YouTube comments ask uh, where the uh, mod came from for Doggo. Um, I will be mentioning that in the upcoming mod video, my uh, suggested mods and why I like them. Uh, this is a. Uh, um, I'm having a brain fart right now with uh, who did it? Mog Mogwat? I can't remember his name. Uh, the original art, uh, author, creator, designer of uh, this particular mod um, and many others, yeah, he did a really good job. Uh, he did like the cat folk race, the rat race, um, the doggo, the backpacks for them. Yeah, try to give an example of like seeing super far out. Holy nation. See, this is why I like having her already. I have no clue where they're at. Where are they? Is that them? No, that's settlers. I don't know where they're at. Looks like they're going to jump out of a nowhere. Do that or there's a bunch of bodies somewhere and one's crawling around and I can't see it. Once we get out far enough, I think I'm gonna have my guys go straight to the hub. In fact, I'm gonna click there now. Oh boy, I did not see that coming. How fast do they run? 23. Hmm. How fast do we run? We might be able to take them. We'll take some damage. All right, first off, we're gonna split things up. Got it. Run so fast. Oh, 
Nope, I think we just wolf, uh, wiped out the wolf den. Um, this is actually stuff for us to sell, sell so I'm actually going to pick some of it up. I'm actually surprised. Um, we took very little damage. Beep's leg got kind of hit hard. But that's to be expected with Beep. Okay, we need to uh, start trading things around. Um, guess we are going to have her grab stuff now. At all of them. I think that is. All right. Um, and there's stuff to collect up here, so might as well collect it. Not a lot, though, but it's cool that we could actually wiped out the den. I think that was us. I, th I thought that would be great out, though. Maybe it wasn't us. All right, continue our journey to the hub. All right, we're... Yeah, beep's kind of uh, limited. Did we actually heal everybody? Yeah, we did. Beep is going 12, so we're definitely slowed down. See, for example, uh, see that all way out over there? You might not be able to see it, but there is indeed starving bandits there, and that's actually super far out for our camera view. So I'm very happy to have that now because that's one thing that bugged me, where it's like I wanted to see things on the horizon and I couldn't. And it looks like it's going to be dark soon. We don't like traveling at night. I'm looking at the, my, uh, reshade, just seeing, like, I have to check in different regions, like, uh, there's one region where things look really pink with my, my, uh, my shader settings, so I may have to change them, but I like the way they look, though, it kind of brightens up everything, is it more of a vibe for me? That stack in the distance. Yeah, since we got all those pelts, I guess a good thing we ran into the doggos. Uh, that's money. And I'm going to send a, a adventurer's group our way. We want to hire some people at uh, Get Off My Long Base. Those are outlaws. Why are we going? Can we not go that way? Pretty sure we can. Oh, you know what? Hang on, let's just go this way.
Usually I like to shack up in a little crevice somewhere. It's getting dark. I think the best spot for us is going to be up along one of these ridges right here. Camp over there. Uh, another one right there. Yeah, I think we're just gonna s cannibal raid. I get off my lawn. I'm glad I left Doggo. Okay, we're gonna situate them here. Who has the sleeping bag? Let me guess, it was on Ein. No? Just making sure I'm not blind, you know. Okay, well, I guess we're just going to be hanging out here. Um, get off my lawn. They're at the front entrance. Somewhere. Quite a bit of them. Meat. I was hoping Fogman would come this way. So this is where we get defenses set up ASAP, like uh, crossbow turrets and whatnot. Well, I don't know when they're going to assault. Okay, these guys are here. Oh, we could build a bed with the, um... this we could just build that and with um you and you get in that that way beep can heal his leg everyone else is good Kind of hoping a bunch of fogmen are going to roll up on the cannibals. No, oh, no, they're definitely going for our gate. Uh, Double John, you do not want to go that way. I think I want to get everybody on the roof and we're going to like set up. A well, no, Doggo can't. I think we'll set everybody in like this corner right here and like lure them all in. Do they already? Where'd they go? Okay, they're already trickling in. All right, everybody here. Do that. No jobs.
anything toughness will get right risen. See, Ein's, Ein's put in work. Everybody actually did pretty well. Do we have an on-site medic, though? We do, Hobbs. And he's got some basic medic stuff. Let the people of jobs get back to work. Hobbs will heal them. Oh, exactly zero on the stomach. Um, I'm going to have him off of uh, operating. What is that? Oh, that's uh, Tumble John. Go and get this thing repaired. Alright guys, that should be the end of this episode. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, again, I, I usually am putting up videos for this playthrough on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So keep an eye out for those. Uh, outside of that, I will see you all in the next episode. I'm Payne Sturdivant, and thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care.